What is going on guys, this is Joe and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Welcome to a full day of eating. Going to take you through what I'm eating in the off season to try and gain some size, gain some muscle, and just look pretty damn good. I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of a bulking kind of smoothie that I would typically make uh, if I'm on the go, I need something quick and easy, high in calories, good calories at the same time. Not any of these weird TikTok smoothies that you see where it's like, they'll add just like this gainer and then they'll add like olive oil and then all this like just junk into a smoothie and drink it. It's, it, it doesn't look good. But it's just like super high in calories and it's like these 2,000 calorie shakes and in my opinion, it's just absolute asinine. So I'm gonna try and show you something that actually tastes pretty good, is good for you, has plenty of protein. That way you don't have to drink your olive oil for calories and everyone's just happy at the end of the day. Well, I'll start by going with almost one serving of almond milk or almond milk, whatever. I'm going with about one serving of almond butter. If you wanna be a little bit more precise and actually weigh it, go for it. I'm kind of just estimating or guesstimating. But if I really want to be like super accurate, then I would actually like weigh everything out. I'm going in with one cup of oatmeal. Boom. I'm also going in with one scoop of a protein powder of choice. This is a chocolate coconut flavor right here. Absolutely delicious. This right here, it's also a casing. NutriShopUSA.com, code JGFree. Save yourself free shipping. And last but not least, I'm going in with some frozen strawberries. I'm going about one serving of these guys right here. Get some fruits in for the day because we wanna be nice and healthy. And then this is kinda of optional, but I'm gonna add like two packets of Splenda. Nothing too crazy, just two packets. And this is kinda of real thick right now, so if it feels a little thick, what you can do is you add some more water, or I'm gonna be a little dangerous and add some more almond milk. And all you gotta do is just give this a blend. I'm also having a coffee this morning. This is from one of those little Nespresso pods. This is vanilla cream pie. I mean, custard pie. I'll probably have around two of these in the morning to start my day out. I just drink it straight black, honestly. I have no problem with it whatsoever. If I'm feeling a little extra frisky, then I might add some sweetener to it, maybe some almond milk. Alrighty, so total calories and macros for this bad boy right here are 690 calories. Overall macros are 44 protein, 77 carb, 15 fiber, and then 27 fat. Overall, that's a pretty well-balanced meal. I mean, we have 24% protein, we have 42% carbs, 33% fats, and when you're bulking, trying to gain some size, trying to gain some mass, you really don't need that much protein. 24, 25% of your diet coming from protein, if you're in a calorie surplus, is gonna be plenty of protein. I mean, if I had, for example, 40 grams of protein, five times a day in every single one of my meals. I mean, that's like 200 grams of protein. That's more than what I need. So I could even get away with less. I can even maybe go half a scoop of protein powder in there if I really wanted to. Give this shake a shot. Ditch the shakes if you're doing it with like olive oil and all this other junk that you see on TikTok, like these 1500 calorie, 2000 calorie shakes. I mean, and if you really want to, you can add like some regular milk in there. I personally am a little, I'm a little lactose when it comes to milk. Milk makes me wake up with diarrhea. So I prefer the almond milk. And then they just want to have something that tastes pretty good. This tastes pretty good. Give us a little bit of a taste test, shall we? It's delicious, especially with the almond butter and the chocolate coconut protein. It's just a good combination. It's actually a rest day from the gym as well, so it's gonna be just a food day in general. I'm gonna drink this, head to class, and I will see you guys in the next meal of the day. You guys wanna know what I'm eating for lunch today? This is two cups of white rice, okay? It's also four ounces of ground bison, right? I know what you're thinking, ground beef? No, bison. This meal is 600 calories, and my total calories today are 1290, right? My macros, 76 protein, 167 carb, 17 fiber and a 39 fat. What do you guys have to say about that? Michelle, your thoughts? Good stuff, thumbs up. Tristan? Good job. I couldn't care less. Alrighty, here with the next meal, what I have is more rice, as well as some ground beef. I have two cups of rice and then around four ounces of 93.7 ground beef, which brings my overall caloric intake to 1,870 calories. Overall macros in the day are 107 grams of protein, 257 grams of carbs, 18 fiber, and then 48 grams of fat. We give this meal a little bit of a taste test, shall we? Mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy, I'm not reinventing the wheel. It's pretty simple, we have rice and beef. And that's pretty much it. I've been out of the gym pretty much all day training some clients. So when you're on the go, I mean, this just makes it really easy and convenient. Would I like to be at home making some wraps, protein pizza, maybe some protein donuts? Absolutely. But unfortunately, this is the situation that we're in. I have another client in about 10 minutes. I'm going to eat this, chill out for a little bit, and then I'll have another meal when I get home. And maybe a snack before bed. We'll see how I feel. I'm going to have relatively 
maybe 2,800 to 3,500 calories a day. I usually eat between 3,000 and 4,000 calories, but I got a little bit of a late start today on my full day of eating because I had to get blood work in the morning and I had to do it fasted. So on a day like this, I don't overstress it and it is a rest day. So I'm not too obsessive as far as getting in like my 3,000 to 4,000 calories. If I get 2,800, I'm okay with that as well. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys in the next meal of the day. Alrighty, here with the second last meal of the day, what we have is some rice. We have salmon, um, to be exact, 230 grams of rice, five ounces of salmon, and then also have a tablespoon of olive oil on there as well, bringing our total caloric intake to 2533. Overall calories for the entire day are 143 grams of protein, 327 grams of carbs, 19 fiber, and then 17 grams of fat. Gonna give this a little bit of taste test here. Mm -hmm. I put a little lime juice, a little salt on this bad boy right here. I try and regularly eat salmon, um, especially when I'm on prep, I'll eat salmon pretty much every single day. Good source of omega-3s. These days, I don't really eat it as consistently. I try and eat it, you know, at least a couple times a week, but I'm always taking an omega-3 supplement in the off season for your brain, your cognitive health, and your cardiovascular health as well. So omega-3s, do not underestimate those, my friends. I also have myself a zero sugar root beer as well. Root beer is like my second favorite diet soda of all time. Versus Pepsi Mango, because it is just so good, but the zero sugar root beer. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you guys in the last and final meal of the day. I might do some cardio after I eat this. I'm not quite sure. It's a rest day, but I try and stay active, try and get my, my cardiovascular health in check. We'll see, but I'll see you guys in the final meal of the day. Alrighty, here with the last and final meal of the day. I ended up doing 25 minutes of cardio. It's pretty late. It's actually one o'clock in the morning right now. But what I have here is two English muffins with around two servings of butter, as well as a banana. My overall calories are at 3,041. Overall macros for the day are at 154 protein, 409 carb, 24 fiber, and then 87 grams of fat for the entire day. Um, I'm not really having too much protein at the end of the night, which I probably should, but but while I was doing cardio, I was sipping on some BCAs, which are still some in here as well. So, so I kind of had plenty of protein throughout the entire day. I just wanted like a quick snack, you know, before bed. Something that isn't gonna make me too, too full at the same time, isn't gonna completely fill me up. And just overall getting some more calories in. At the end of the day, I'm in a surplus. I had plenty of protein. Like it's not my total body weight, but at the end of the day, it's not like I'm not under 80 in protein. So I'm going to enjoy this, head off to bed, wake up early tomorrow and edit this video. But other than that, I hope you enjoy this full day of eating. I am wrapping the video up here. I'm super tired. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's your boy Joe. Peace.